Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you about an underrated movement tech called coyote jumping. Coyote jumping is a technique that allows you to jump after falling off a ledge, giving you sort of a baby jump. This technique can be applied in so many movement techniques, opening up your movement game, like being able to instantly wall bounce without fatigue jumping or sliding. You can also apply it to mantles and so much more. Here are some examples you can apply it in different techniques that I will teach you in this video. Let's start off learning how to do a coyote jump. When falling off a ledge, you have a window of time to still jump. By pressing jump in this window, you will be able to do a coyote jump. It takes a bit of practice and testing to find the window, testing to see how early and delayed you can do it. I would practice testing when you should jump after falling off a ledge in this spot in the firing range. Try jumping across this gap with a coyote jump. Once you got the coyote jump down, now it's time to implement it with our first technique, a wall bounce. This technique is simple, yet you can be so creative with it. Come to the ledge that is next to the wall, coyote jump into the wall, and press jump again to get an instant wall bounce. There you go! You learned the first technique that uses a coyote jump. You can be so creative with this technique, it just takes a little bit of practice. You can also use this technique to do a backwards wall bounce to fake out your opponents. First, go to a ledge, coyote jump, and once you grab onto the wall to do the wall bounce, you want to climb to the left first and then jump. This will allow you to do a backwards wall bounce. This technique allows you to redirect your wall bounces even on console and trick out your opponents. Now for the next movement technique, you can also do a coyote jump after sliding off a ledge. I would recommend practicing this as well because it would open up your movement creativity and the timing's a bit different than a normal coyote jump so it takes a little bit more practice. Come to this spot in the firing range and practice sliding off and then jumping to do a coyote jump. Once you get that down, you can apply a slide coyote jump into a wall bounce after an edge slide. It will stop before you couldn't get a wall bounce after a slide coyote jump but I was able to figure it out using specific steps to do so, which I will teach you in this video. First, come to an object you can mantle over. Once you mantle over that object, immediately slide to get an edge slide. Once sliding off the ledge, jump in the coyote time window. Mantle the wall, and this part is very important or you won't be able to get the wall bounce after. You must climb straight up a little bit once you're attached to the wall, and then jump off. If you do not climb, you won't get the wall bounce after. This technique is a bit more difficult since it requires a lot more specific steps. But once you got this down, this will allow you to be way more creative and think of different places you can wall bounce that you couldn't before. Also keep in mind that you can do this slide coyote jump off any small ledge too which opens up for way more creativity as you can see me doing it in this clip. Now let's move on to the next technique that uses coyote jumping. We can use coyote jumps after mantles as well. This allows you to cancel your mantle into a coyote jump and then remantle. This technique might sound useless but you can shoot while you're coyote jumping allowing you to pop shot while on cover and shrieking your hitbox. This makes it very difficult for your opponent to hit you in this state. To do this technique, mantle a wall. Once you're mantled, you can cancel your mantle in two ways. One way is by holding down, the other way is by holding crouch. Both ways will cancel your mantle. Choose one that best fits you when practicing this technique. Once you have canceled your mantle, you shoot your shotgun and then hold forward slightly. Holding forward slightly will allow you to remantle the wall. Then all you have to do is repeat the process. This technique is very difficult on controller, I must say, because of the analog stick. But with practice, you'll get it down. You could have used this technique with magnetism on certain maps as well before, but unfortunately it was patched out on most maps. But it still works on Mirage Crash Ship in the TDM playlist if you want to have fun with it. Now for the last technique for the video. You can use sliding coyote jumps with super jumps. This allows you to slide off a ledge and super jump where you could not super jump before. To do this technique, you need to slide off the ledge, turn your camera, and look down or up. Looking down or up will allow you to see the interact prompt faster. Once you see the interact button, you press jump jump, and this will allow you to super jump. This is helpful to redirect your jumps on console and trick your opponent. This technique also works to make a bootleg mantle jump as well. You can mantle a ledge, then once you're done mantling, you can hold back and look down. And then you'll be able to super jump in the coyote time window, allowing you to super jump right after a mantle, as you can see in this clip. Well, that's the end of the video guys. I hope you guys learned a lot about coyote jumps and how to apply them to different movement techniques. If this video was helpful, 
please consider subscribing and commenting down below. It will be greatly appreciated. Well, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace! Let's go ahead and abuse that while we still can.